printing money is bad, mm -hmm. right? It's inflationary. Mm -hmm. uh, but borrowing printed money is insane. <laughs> Uh, they're they're keeping uh, the, uh, the, go, uh, the our political heroes in Washington a couple extra weeks. They're trying to get this um, O'Care thing repealed, or what, what are they up to? Who knows? I know there's desperate times. These are desperate times, to be fair. Well, why do you say that? Why? Well, did Oklahoma's bonds were downgraded yesterday, Oh, you I mean believe. with the, Oh, yeah. I mean, Financially. We haven't even got this stuff around the country. It's like... Yeah, yeah. Really, well, it's really weird, isn't yeah, it? A lot yeah. of stuff going on. A lot. I mean, like... Uh, Connecticut, Illinois... Oklahoma, I didn't hear about them. Yeah, no, that's that's new. New on the list. So these are all these <laughs> municipal bonds that you had been uh, uh, warning against buying for the last five years. Yeah, but but <laughs> to, to be fair, people have been making money for the last five years. Yeah, so I understand. If you bought a municipal bond five years ago when interest rates were 20, 30, 40 percent higher than they are now. And they're tax-free. And they're tax-free. Yeah. Well, now they're worth 20, 30, 40 percent more on the face value Ooh. if you went to sell them because they yield a much higher return than currently issued bonds. Mm -hmm. Now, that's going to change, obviously. But until it does, uh, bonds have been the single best investment over the last decade, uh -huh. or 20 years even. So. But you, you've you been warning folks not to do it because you saw this this coming. Yeah. This, you didn't want anybody getting Well, caught. we're back where we were in 2007. So to summarize it this way, uh, there's three times as much debt as there is money to pay. Oh, really? Yeah. Kind of like uh, upside down, you would say. Yes, yes. And this is coming at a time, I don't know if you've heard, we discussed it a bit last week, uh -huh. when the Fed is saying they're going to run off their balance sheet. Yeah, I got that story gonna... right here. The tide is going out. J.P. Morgan Diamond warns yeah. that QE unwind could be far worse than the Fed hopes. And, and worse, it will be an utter disaster calamity if the Fed lets off the gas for half a second and starts to unwind. And not, not only are they not buying, but they're selling. They're reducing the money supply, pulling money out of circulation. It will be utter devastation to the financial market. Which is what Jamie uh, Diamond's talking about uh, from, uh, from uh, JP, uh, that if they start doing this, it's just going to be. So let's talk about what you're talking about. So it's we like know pulling the, the plug in the bathtub. Unwind. That's so <laughs> unwind means you've got four point. Five trillion dollars worth of paper, debt instruments, debt instruments that you in create, your safe that you created dollars for in Correct. exchange for these four point five trillion. Now right? that money was quickly absorbed by the marketplace without even burping, without even any inflation. It was just what was required to prevent a deflationary depression. Three times as much debt as there is money to pay. Okay, let's so, well, let's walk through that. So here we are what in they, 2008. What they, did, what they did with the TARP, what they did with all of that, you told yep. us that if they didn't create this money right. and paper over the issue, it, we would have had uh, the collapsitarian scenario that people have been wanting about for 40 years. Right? The deflationary depression. Deflationary I, I remember depression, looking right? at myself in a bathroom mirror saying, I was wrong. Oh, you mean one lean? I was wrong. Yeah. I, they're going to let these institutions go, they're not going to replace the money. We're going to, the dollars. Debts are going to plummet to thirty cents on the dollar. The dollar is going to be king, mm -hmm. the strongest thing in the world. I should sell my gold and buy Bitcoin. Yeah, well, <laughs> I should sell my gold and buy Treasury bonds. <laughs> right, 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 right. Right, because I mean that was the ultimate. But then again, then again, we saw what happened yeah, after that, that afternoon. So, they said no. Okay, eh, maybe not. No, uh, okay, the no. bailout, the bailout, uh, TARP mm -hmm. for one, equity, mm -hmm. direct equity injections into the banks. Mm -hmm. And then the buying of the assets at the discount window of the Fed, where they bought just anything that anybody brought them. Here, I have these mortgage-backed securities. Great, we'll take them on the pile. I have these treasury bonds, bills and notes. Great, we'll take them on the pile. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac debt. Yeah, sure, Sally Mae, all of them. If it's a federal agency and it's a bond, we'll buy it. And to be, to be clear, well, what Andrew's talking about is the bank of issue – creates the money on their Dell computer, 8100F, which is a good one. So it's, you know, these are good digits. Uh, <laughs> and That's then right. trades them for the credit default swaps and mortgage-backed securities, i.e. the big short, uh, yes. you know, that kind of thing. Right. And it just trades them and then yeah. creates 4.5. Well, I think what, since 2007, Andrew, what you told us, $3.5 trillion. Right, because they already had about a trillion, a trillion on, the on the balance sheet. sheet right. Yeah, That's which amazing. was strictly Treasury bonds. So that wasn't inflationary because... Um, well, because without it, 
it would have been oh, deflationary. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Without so it, think it, of it, the whole game it, would have fell apart. Yeah, it okay. didn't, in other words, it gotcha. didn't even get us even, right? Okay. Because we didn't create enough money three times as much. That's what we would have had to do to pay everyone what they were due. But instead, we just rolled it over, right? We rolled the problem over. So we did the $4.5 trillion total on the balance sheet. And we doubled worldwide dollar-denominated debt. Okay, you want to borrow dollars? Here you go, here you go, here you go. Well, now we've come to the problem again. Now we're at the problem again. Three times as much debt as there is money to pay. This is worldwide dollar-denominated debt. Dollar-denominated is what we're referring to. I guess if you throw in other currencies, it's even worse than you can imagine. Mm -hmm. But if we focus on the dollar, because that is the king currency, right? That's the one. So it's the one that everybody runs to when they have an issue most of the time. So as goes the dollar, that's like General Motors, so goes the world. Mm -hmm. 